Hi everybody, I am back. I'm here to do a review on the ELF Beauty Encyclopedia in the Basic Eye Edition. Um, I've done, I'm trying to do a review on each of the encyclopedias, um, so if I have any other reviews, I will post it in my description bar below, um, but also you can check my channel, um, and they will also be posted in there of all my reviews on the um, ELF Beauty Encyclopedias. Um, these beauty encyclopedias are ordered through the eyeslipspace.com. They are for five dollars. They're in the um, they're in the kits section of the website, and they're like a pre-designed kit basically or palette. So um, if you want, if you're looking for those, that's where they'll find them on the website. They're for five dollars. Now, when I purchased mine, I did get them half price just because Elf has so many sales. So if you have a chance to find a coupon for them, I would definitely suggest you know for you to get the coupon. But I will let you know. The five dollars well worth it you're gonna get a lot of shadow and everything with these which you know is worth it to me personally um, so what I'll do is go ahead and start getting into my review on it um, actually I, I love this particular um, encyclopedia it has great colors it's great for I'm a basic eye kind of person I don't do a lot of wild um, dark different wild colored eyes um, so, especially since my work would not, I mean, it's just not appropriate for my work, for my job, or, um, you know, I'm not, you know, party girl, so I don't do that stuff either. I would love to. I would love to have the chance to wear more wild colors and experiment with it more. But, unfortunately, um, you know, my lifestyle just doesn't call for that at this time. So, um, this is a great addition for people who are just looking for a simple eye colors. Um, I will say it's more of a fall color. They all have kind of a dark plumish color, which is very fall to me. So, um, you know, if you're looking, that's a great palette. It's just kind of dark. Um, so it's a great palette for fall. Um, not really bright springy colors in there. What this all includes is a step-by-step -step guide to the perfect eye makeup, uh, 12 eyeshadow shades, two cream shadow shades, one eyeliner, and one shadow brush. So you open it up. And on this side, it has a description on how to utilize the product, um, diagram, everything, so you can, you know, do the eyes correctly. And then it always has this clear, um, and also it has magnetic closures, as you can see, so it stays magnetically closed, so it doesn't just open up, as you can tell. Um, so you have to open it. And the eyeliner and the brush just fell out which always happens. That's okay. Um, it has a plastic liner on there to protect the shadows. Um, so that's it's really nice. I keep it in there and it works great. Um, so here's the shadows and then here's your two cream eyeliners and then right here would be the um, eyeliner and the eye brush which I will pick up in a second and talk to you about those. So um, as you can see it's a little drowned out by the light so I'm going to try to angle it the way I want to. Um, the colors, I've used this so it's a little messy. Um, the colors are, like I said, very dark, plumish, um, have a lot of pink, um, plum, browns, and off-whites in them. In fact, I don't believe there is a white in here. There's no white. There's no black. Um, there's no... Um, everything is a darker color. So great for the fall. Um, now, I will tell you, the thing with this is, I will definitely say, if you have the large makeup collection like I do, um, you will probably, for sure, I looked in, yeah, the colors, um, I believe, like, this rusty color right here, and um, this dark plum color here, whoops, where is it at, here, these are all in here, and I probably, you know, I would probably say that they're almost an exact dupe um, of each other. But what is different about this is, first of all, sometimes this is a little clumpy and, and big to get out when you're in a hurry getting ready. And also, I store this in a drawer for me, myself, for me, myself. And these are so nice because I keep all my um, encyclopedias out on my vanity. And I actually keep them sitting up like books. And like I said um, in my other reviews that has written on here which are which, like the sparkle eye, um, the face. Um, the eye edition, there's because there's two different eye editions. There's the basic eye edition and just the eye edition. And unfortunately, the basic eye does not say basic eye, which I wish it did. So the eye edition and the basic eye edition are the say it said the same on here, but 
that's okay. Um, so I set these up so they're a little bit more easily accessible to me. So I, you know, so if that's the situation too for you. Um, but also, as you can tell, the size difference is quite significant. So you're going to get a little bit more shadow too. Um, so something to think about. Um, but, you know, like I said, um, if you have this and you don't want to spend the money, I can understand you just not getting this. But, um, like I said, this just has... Is, this is just a little bit more accessible to me than this is. So, it's up to you. Um, I don't, I think the quality is very similar. Let me do a swatch real quick of ones I think are similar. So, here's the bronze color from this palette. Okay, so there's that. It's on my pointer finger. Let me do the bronze color from the other palette. As you can see, it's almost an exact look. This looks a little bit lighter, maybe. Um, quality looks about the same. The feel's the same. Um, so, like I said, you're going to get exact dupes in there, I believe. Um, what was another one I said was a dupe? This is the dark purple from the um, basic eye from this one. And this is the dark purple. from the large makeup collection. So again, very similar. This one's a little bit lighter. Um, so maybe it's more pigmented too. This may be more pigmented than the large makeup collection, but very, very similar in color. Um, I actually, I think I can probably get a dupe. Here's like a charcoal, like a, like a, almost a gunmetal color. Okay, here's like an exact dupe again. This is this one in this palette, and this is this one in this palette. So again, I think it's exact dupes in all of this. So something to think about if you're purchasing it and you know um, you wanted to save your cash on it. Like I said, I like these. First of all, I was very curious about them. Second of all, I really like them because it was it's convenient. I don't have to pull out my huge makeup collection to get to it. Um, and it's just a little bit smaller and it's, these are great for travel. So some reasons you may want to purchase this even if you have the large makeup collection. But I will say there's a lot of exact dupes in here. But, you know, like I said, it's, it's just basically based on that. But um, quality is great. Definitely worth the $5. I highly suggest it. If you have any questions about this or anything, let me know. Um, but that is my review on the e.l.f. The Beauty Encyclopedia Basic Eye Edition. Um, let me, and I almost forgot to show you what fell out. This is the, it comes with a black eyeliner, and it's probably like their dollar line eyeliner. And I'm not a big fan of their eyeliners. I don't think they stay well. They don't have great stay power of the dollar line. But as you can tell, it's just a simple black. And then the brush that comes with it is a little sponge applicator on one end, and it has a nice little brush on the other end. So that's great. So these are great for traveling, for touching up, things like that. So they're nice to keep in there, um, but not something I'd probably use unless I needed to. And, you know, just using a washcloth real quick, I just, not a dry washcloth, I just, lost my timer? A dry washcloth, I just wipe that off, the eyeliner. So it comes off really easy, but whatever. <laughs> so anyway, so that's my review on the basic eye edition. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and I will be back later. Thanks. Bye.